Welcome to Crime Fighters, the police and you. Welcome back. Now the details. Officers of the Lagos State Police Command from Tolu Police Station in Ajegunle and the Marine Division of the Force have raided a residential building in Ajegunle converted into a warehouse for illegal petroleum products transactions. The Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer DSP Frank Mba during a press briefing said three suspects were arrested and 67 50 liter jerry cans filled with petroleum products were seized. The owner of the building, one Mrs. Badmos, is presently on the run and efforts are being intensified to track her down. In a related development following intelligence reports, a lorry containing 1,251 cartons of Jago full cream powdered milk valued at 4.4 million naira diverted from the company's factory at Songwater in Ogun State by a driver and his co-conspirators have been recovered by the Lagos State Police Command at Oloora in Lagos. The driver and the owner of the shop where the goods were recovered are to be charged to court as soon as investigations are concluded. Normalcy has returned to Efuru, the headquarters of Owe, local government area in Delta State, after a spate of arson and banditry carried out by armed youths of the area. Officers and men of the State Police Command moved into the area and in a swift operation arrested 15 persons who have made useful statements and recovered 16 vehicles stolen by the bandits. The State Commissioner of Police Jacob Oshiomogu admitted that OVA had been problematic but that the State Police Command was on top of the situation and normalcy has returned. While appealing to members of the public to give useful information to the police, he advised citizens to be very weary when buying second-hand cars, stressing that most of the stolen cars were bought by highly respected members of the public. Here we draw the curtains on Breeze Within the Police for now. Join us again, same time, same station, next week. With me in the studio is CSP Mohammed Raji Kamal Dean, the Divisional Police Officer, Police Station Urile Gomu, Lagos. DPO, you are the Divisional Police Officer in charge of Urile Gomu, a residential area with a large concentration of commercial activities. Could you please give security tips to viewers? as it relates to crimes within your area. Welcome viewers. I have some security tips to offer to viewers. Uh, first of all, I want to advise residents to ensure that security guards they employ, their identities are well known before employing them, particularly the foreigners. We should ensure that they have guarantors before employing them as security guards. I also want to advise that residents should not encourage their security guards to engage in commercial activities by their gate side. Because you discover that most of these security guys, 
involved is in uh, commercial activities, which some of them sell cigarettes and so on. And you know, criminals are fond of this. They can sit with them and smoke, waiting for their victims. The moment they sight their victims, they stand up and approach them and act. I want residents employing the services of these security guards to take this as a very, very serious uh, security tips. Secondly, I want the residents of Sari Gamu, particularly around Mosulaji area, Alafia, where we have with these uh, uh, traders uh, uh, engaging in building materials, Maetu and Coca. These areas are where we have the hoodlums, especially at night and early morning. If you are receiving a call or making a call, you have to be very, very vigilant as these bad boys can dispossess you of your phones and other valuables.